auction was postponed uh, for quite some time actually and it was due to raised uh, national security concerns um, so that the uh, authorities added a, long, a number of uh, requirements. Technology-wise, uh, TDD, uh, time division duplexes, require stricter timing. The C-band licenses is TDD all over. That is something that uh, requires a lot better timing than normal frequency uh, timing. Also, the services add to uh, improve requirements on, on sync, both with 4G advanced, LTE advanced, and also now with, with 5G services also require better sync. If we had the GNSS as a primary sync, we needed a backup sync that was uh, independent of GNSS. We had a pretty, we were in a quite tight spot actually, um, since we did not have a, uh, our own fixed infrastructure. No own fiber, no dark fiber, uh, well some dark fiber, but not national dark fiber network. We uh, did consider a number of different options going into this. Atomic clocks for one, dedicated wavelength services for sync speci specifically, was one. Converting everything, all the lease lines to dark fiber was one. Also uh, using sync as a service from lease line operators, meaning they would be providing sync, uh, P2P sync um, uh, throughout their network was one option. And then we also considered this uh, solution from NetInsights. Our big challenge was that uh, P2P protocol requires hop by hop um, support, uh, every switch, every router along the path. We would have active networks, active lease lines uh, as part of our network and that would mean that uh, we would need to have uh, the suppliers support this PTP for, for our case then. The problem is that we have a number of these line operators and these line providers and um, also that uh, we are pretty much the only one that requested this service from them. So mm. that would fit like a dif difficult path to take. The option that allowed us not to uh, redesign and rethink and reinvent and rebuild uh, our free aggregation and aggregation network. Uh, it was a, a, a solution that we could uh, build overlay on top of what we already had uh, compared to other solutions that we, we, we would really need to rebuild and rethink quite a lot of our network. Visibility is always good, obviously, because you learn things and you are able to monitor things and you can set alarms on things and you can raise the quality of your network. We do get a lot more visibility on the sync and on the sync signal quality with the, with the Synthai solution. Oh, well, we're happy with the, with the cooperation so far. We find uh, NetInsight easy to work with. Um, uh, they're very committed to this uh, solution and it means also that they're committed to our, to our case and our partnership, I feel, I feel like. And um, yeah, we're happy so far. My team's perspective then uh, a GNSS independent sync uh, by the end of next year. That is also top of, on the top of the agenda.